Hey Stampers, Gator again, and I got the house set out, which is um, coming home it's called, and I just thought I'd have a play, and I know it's, well, I don't know, right, just the beginning of August, but we've got to get started on our Christmas cards at some time, so I'm going to try my best and do at least one or two a week from now on, until I've got all the people I want to send to, family and friends, so you are my family and friends. So yeah, I, I haven't used a single stamp because the designer series paper that comes with this is mwah, stunning. Love it, love it, love it. I am going to use the dies, so I'm going to use that. I've got most of the houses cut out, but I want to. I'm going to show you what I did to make my card, which I'll show you by the way. And I'm calling it the house fold card because uh, it looks like a house. Hence the coming home. So I'll show you. This is the card I made. Uh, it's got the mountain scenery, put some snowflakes there, and some little stars on the trees. Added Wink Costello to the roof and to all the trees and stuff. Maybe I should have added a bit to the mountains. Oh, tell a lie, that is the only stamp I used to swirl there. So I'm adding a bit of Winker Stella to the shimmer of the mountains as well. And it's so cute. Let's see if there you can pick up the Winker Stella there. And opens and the bits the DSP that I took off, I line the corners with, and you've got a pleasant little space now to um write your message. Could have should have put a strip maybe of the designer series paper in the bottom. And I used the sentiment from the strip of DSP. So there's another one there, Tidings of Comfort and Joy. I might use that. Or I could maybe Season uh, season of Cheer. Or if I want that same sentiment, I've got to go all the way up to there. So Hearts Come Home. Or maybe that one, Hearts Come Home. That's not too high up. I just wanted it in the red because the house is red. May even choose a green one or a blue one, depending on which house I cut out. But how cute is this card? Don't you think it's just lovable? The trees actually could have popped them on dimensionals. I popped the little wreaths on um, on dimensionals. I used a strip of leftover DSP that I'd cut out, and I've got some more bits here. Save it all going to waste. You know I'm gonna. You know really go to town I use a piece of whisper white I even chop the corners off and then this is a whole house and this is like a front door and I, in the catalogue you can see where they've added sections of the house if you know what I mean so say for instance uh, we've got that section that could have gone there and then that piece there could have gone over there you know give the house dimension so we might just do that actually there's another one of the houses. I might even make the whole scene a bit different, depending on what I cut out. I've got my DSP ready. I love the mountain. Uh, I think it's really cute. That section there was what le was left off after I cut two at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And this is that scene paper where this came from. Off the top of the mountain. I just think it's adorable. And this the road follows around. You've even got the houses, but I just wanted the mountain view. My card is simple to make. It's just a, a normal standard A4 card cut in half. You're gonna score and fold this at four and one eight, making sure they all come together and join. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a ruler and with your stylus you're going to mark down one and a half inches and the same on this side one and a half don't need to use a pencil you're going to flip that round and you're going to stick that on one and a half going to mark at one and a half either side and the same down the bottom and 
then you're just going to score to those marks. like the mini Miura card we did but this is on the outside on the inside now they're going to be popped on the inside not on the out so when we fold this we can pop this inward oh look see I've got always oh, got red on it so be careful not to do it with DSP okay, just pop this down and fold this how simple. And then we're just going to do the same on this side. Again, I've lost a dot. There it is. And I've lost my dot again on this side. So there it is. How simple, but I was thinking if we could make the whole card look like a house, that would be great as well. And then we could have a little collapsible chimney that you could get your recipient to pull, pull up. That would be cute as well, wouldn't it? So again, just pop this in. We've got our score lines now, so just fold that over, fold that down. That could burnish. I just thought it was the cutest thing I've ever seen after I'd done it, folded it. I mean, no, it wouldn't work that way, but it definitely works that way. You could have like a piece on top of there in the shape of a chimney that you could perhaps fold down whilst the card's closed in the envelope, and then the recipient could just stand it up. And oh, that looks so cute. Maybe we do that. So I'm just reinforcing my score lines and that's how cute and then with the DSP what I did was I put it level with the top I spun it round and then I took a pencil oh, making sure again that you Make sure you've got the distance either side and then lift to the top. And if you wanted, you could grab a clip to keep it in place. Just while you turn it round. And draw along the back. And then I can take that off and just snip them. Nobody's going to see the pencil lines because you're marking from the back. And then when you put this DSP on, you've got the perfect distance. Oh, I've got the card the wrong way around, that's it. You've got the perfect distance all the way round. How cute. Yay! So that's going to get glued on there. Then what I did with the pit, the pieces that I chopped off, I literally just cut away that uh, pencil mark. That's all you need to do. I'm oh, sorry, I've got a drippy nose today. Itchy. And then, with these little bits, I turned them around because you can't see nothing but clouds. And then attach them. On that, just so we don't waste any DSP.
Oh, cute. So you got you're not wasting nothing. You've got a little strip going there as well. Excuse me, ladies. I do apologise. I've got a little. Uh... Oh. Coffee. Oh, there, Mr. Boy's fetch me a cup of coffee. Mmm. So, because we've done all this in red, I'm going to cut that house out. And what have I got there? I've got red there. Uh, I've got a little green house there and a couple of trees, so I need a couple more trees. Um, yeah, I want this house here. So, what I'm going to do is just take my scissors. And I'm just going to basically just cut that section out. that so we need oh we need that house uh, I need that one as well so let me just follow this I mean they're easy enough to cut out by hand but you've got the dies So I know I've got I've already lost these pieces. So I'm going to grab the trees while I can. I'm going to get that house, that house, and that house whilst I can, and this one as well. And these will go in a little bag where I can store them for all the cards. I just thought it was too cute for words. And I need a large tree there, so that can go on. And then I can keep cutting the rest of those trees out until I've got more. just so cute and with them um, oh, I was gonna say that that is so cute I don't want them to go to waste see that's why I am cutting them out and then any straight bits I can use to cut off I will do as well my little house I got washy on me everywhere more's the pity that we haven't got uh, more than one of the tree dies because I could cut several out but if you want to do these and give them like if you want to step them out on the card like I have with this one but wanted it a bit solid you could add a white piece of card stock behind there if you were building a scenery you know say for like a 3d card and you just wanted to make it more stable then you could cut this the house out and add a white background to make it a bit more stable so I'm gonna put another piece on just because this is quite long. Right, let's run that through and then we will cut off any straight bits like I'm saying. I've got a right itchy nose. So there's that little blue section of our house. Right. 
There's another tree. I can get that on there while I'm going through with that one. Fingers crossed. I can get that tree at the house. And I can get that one there as well. They're just so cute. I think I'm going to move that die because it's overlapping that one at the moment. I'm just having so much fun. No, excuse me. I love that I'm sitting here doing it with you as well. How many of these designs you can use? Absolutely fabulous. More trees, this little house. There's just so many of them. Uh, I think there's just that tree there now to get. There's one more on that piece, which I'll do at a later date now, so, as well. So, last tree. Just utilising all the pieces. Washi tape everywhere, but worth it. Right, I think. Yeah, I haven't even, t apart from that, just that one little swirl I might have used. the other house, there it is. Perfect, and I've got the little wreath die because that's from a separate piece of designer series paper. And this is from this section. So I'm going to cut two of those out as well and I've put a little mark on the top because it cuts that way out and not the other way even though you'd think it's all the same but it's not Getting all my little bits together first. And I'm going to take that one there. You could get away with making Christmas cards with this stamp set by just having the DSP and the dies. How fabulous. Because there's no sentiments with the stamp set. The sentiments are all with that piece of paper on the designer series paper. So there's my two little wreaths. This maybe could go for a gentleman's card. So look how cute they are. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe you could stretch another eight out of them. Uh, tidings of comfort and joy. Now, let me just show you. my tissue again ladies won't be a second sorry
gemacht hat, war Hanse busy. I'll just show you how quickly, how quick it is to even just fussy cut them if you haven't got the dies even. quick was that? Even that one needs a little trim down because the dies must have slipped a little bit. like houses on their stamp set at Christmas time I think it's the epitome of coming home for Christmas isn't it and then these leftover pieces look I'm not gonna let them go to waste so get my little guillotine out they'll make great for going at the back of designers uh, watch call it uh, la, 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 la. yeah them as well <laughs> back of sentiments like I've done with the first one yeah we've got pretty much the max out of that now so and a nice strip of paper to put like I'm saying behind the sentiment let's see what we can get out of this one we can get that there you know it all comes in handy even if it's just to add a little strip on the inside, you know. So maybe you could even cut shapes out of these, you know. Just it's, it's entirely up to you. But that's what I'm all oh, right. This now I am gonna have. Oh, I do not have a the blue one. So let's get all our houses together here. And our design paper. Dashing through the snow, maybe. That's right at the top, isn't it? And you don't even need a machine for this. Unless, mind you, I'm not this. I have not got the steadiest of hands. Oh, I'm just gonna get the trimmer. Yeah, I like a nice straight edge. that cutting line. Perfect. Look at that. And I can just tidy up. I think my blade needs changing now. Get rid of the wispy bit. Can you imagine how many sentiments you're going to get out of that? That is fabulous. So, it even cut too far. Yes, my blade needs changing. But you've got loads of sentiments. I know quite a few are in a different language, but, you know, beautiful. And I love what's on the back. It's so cute. So, let's get our bits put. I mean, look how many can you got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I've had loads. You can, I think it even cuts these out, or maybe not. No, it's just these ones. But how sweet is that? All those sentiments. 
and lots of cards to be made. So let's pop our bits in here. Any other leftover bits, I'm going to use that. Nice big chunky piece there to go behind my sentiment this time. So these can go in here. No waste. Sorry, ladies. Oh, you can guarantee as soon as I get on camera. Now let's start gluing and putting our bits together. Oh my, is that gonna work now because it's been open for so long? Let's try it and see. There we go, it's coming. So, making sure you've got the card the right way round, you've got a nice border. This time, I'm going to have my little house over the trees. How cute, because I'm going to add trees and this section then, like I say, you could add this section there and then even go again there on that section, but have them all layered and staggered up. I might do that actually. Let's glue down the first one just to cover and then we can pop this on dimensionals Oh, you'd get even more houses if you didn't cut the way I just did. So let's pop this one here, right along the edge. And then this one, can go over the front as well. And the backings want to come off. And stagger this one right over there with a bit of decoupaging going on nice 3d hole absolutely fabulous bish bash bosh let's have a tree now with poking out because I glued everything down on the other one and then our little one Cute is that? You might never know what's on the paper if the car can be cut out. I wouldn't say that one could be. It's not big enough that one. Let's see what else we've got. No, definitely not on that one either. No, no, no. There are people and trees and wreaths. No, you would have you'd have to stamp the car. Yeah, you'd have to stamp the car and colour that and cut it out. So I'm gonna now put I might even cut that down a little bit more because I'm gonna use this sentiment. Oh no, I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna cut the corner though again, like I did on the other card. But that seems a little bit wide, doesn't it? Or do you think it's... Oh, I've got sentiments here, look. But they are small. Uh, 
in a different language. So I'm going to trim that down to say maybe three quarters of an inch. Oh, we could, oh, I just thought of something. Mm, let's see. Yeah, that can go back in the bag. Oh, sorry. We've got this set. going the wrong way but it doesn't matter I'm gonna have that in the center so let's glue this down through there. Perfect. And Do you know what? I'm going to cut that to there. It's on there just just right perfect and then let's glue that onto the white with our back poking out as well Could call it a building fold card or a house fold card make sure that's nice and straight and we can get spin around then. Shall we get that strip? That is so cute. And then I'm going to put all these in a little bag I mean that can go on the inside you know up close to the corner as if it's been chopped off. Let's just do that because I don't want anything to go to waste. So I pop that down there in the corner. Maybe stick a little tree next door to it. Got a little bit more decoration then. How cute is that? And then you can just plenty your space to write your message. So our little wreaths then are going on dimensionals as well. They're gonna go away for a different card. Oops. Oh, crikey, I 
I've got the dropsies. So. I'm going to see which way round that is. Ah, oh, but I want that at the bottom. And I want this one at the bottom as well. Because we're going to slide this up. I've got a bit of an adhesive on there. That's going to go on that section. Sorry, I'm sweating paints. And this is going to go on this section. How cute is that card? Oh my goodness, I love it. So, scissors away, dimensionals away. Let's put our glue away and then we can grab some rhinestones and some sparkle. I've got my little snowflakes and gems. Let's do the Wink Costella. So on the roof. That's it. I can see it coming out now. On the mountain, oh, there, oh, wow, that's uh, got some stellar going on. And on our trees, maybe even the windows. Make it that like Jack Frost is turned up for the night. How cute is that? Look at all that gorgeousness. Now for our gems. Excuse me, ladies. Ah. Oh, and that's right. I've got a summer cold. Right, I'm going to add summer cold. I haven't even had a summer, have we? So I'm going to add five of the little snowflakes all over the background and then I'm going to add two of those lovely little whoops, these lovely little stars and I'm going to pop them just on the top of the tree on both of them. How cute is that card? Love it, love it, love it. So we've got a male one and we've got a female one. Red and blue. How cute are they? I just think they are adorable. So I hope you enjoyed watching me make these cards. How simple. No. Oh, and I've just, I haven't got the swirl out, but I will stamp that little swirl later on. Don't really need it, but I can add a little house in there maybe and a little strip of DSP. But I'm just going to leave it like that for now. But there we go. There is my household card using coming home uh, dies and DSP. Hope you enjoyed. I'd love a thumbs up and a share. My batch is about to die a sudden death. <laughs> so yeah, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to press subscribe, the little bell, and yeah, come and see what I make tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed. I have thoroughly enjoyed making them. It's a little 3D. Love it, love it, love it. Take care now. See you soon. Bye.